You realize I work with morons, right? I mean, I come in here every week, and every week you ask, why am I so pissed off? Like I'm some kind of weirdo for actually being a sentient human being who does his job the way he's supposed to while everybody else is screwing off. I've had about an ass full of Jungle Recon and his belly aching about his stolen STD collection station on wheels. I mean, Jesus Christ! All he ever did when he had the godforsaken thing was beat off in it next to a dirty oscillating fan, a move which he liked to call letting the grunion run, while getting shithoused and watching cartoons, and then trying to bring back whatever floozy he could find, loitering in the parking lot outside that crappy sports bar he's always going to next to the fashion bug across town for some of his patented horizontal dolphin rides. And then he goes off and pulls a stunt like this? What the fuck? Long story short, Jungle got hopped up in some homemade mescaline that he whipped up in the shitter of our Indian tracker's motorhome with the guy's tweaker pet eagle. He steals the guy's piece of shit 1992 Isuzu Trooper and then crashes it in the Mexican desert just south of Laredo, where he spends the next two weeks wandering around naked, tripping balls and dry humping cactuses until he gets captured by the Mexican mafia. We got a call this morning from some Homeland Security guys who got into a firefight after a beat up Isuzu was spotted fleeing from a group of black SUVs making its way towards the US border. Apparently, Jungle had just escaped from an abandoned dildo factory, yes, a literal abandoned dildo factory that a drug cartel was using to house their illegal kidnapping and underground fighting operation. They were snatching up poor villagers off the street and making them fight to the death using spiked nunchucks fashioned out of rubber cocks and brass knuckles made out of anal beads. And of course, because of his training, Jungle excelled at this and became champion of the Mexican dildo dome. After Jungle had sweated all the drugs out of his system and realized where he was, he orchestrated an escape by piling himself and 27 Mexican nationals into Injun Joe's Isuzu. That's when the unmanned drones spotted him and the Homeland Security Forces moved in to see what was going on and then the firefight broke out. Speaking of that goddamn firefight, we were shorthanded at headquarters today because most of our team was out on actual ops, not special rescue missions taking place outside third world strap-on factories, so I didn't have anybody else to take with me besides the Indian, who was only coming because he wanted to reclaim his car and some crappy turquoise jewelry he said Jungle stole. The higher-ups, and their infinite wisdom, suggested that we take along that Fobbit communications idiot with us for backup. And when we're checking out equipment at the armory, he insists on clearing out the place of every weapon ever known to man as part of his loadout kit. Well, that's not exactly true. He made a laundry list of every weapon he remembered using in the video game Call of Duty Black Ops and asked for that. He even asked for a crossbow with exploding arrows. What in the fuck is wrong with that moron? This guy is the biggest jagoff I've ever met in my life. The way he tells it, he single-handedly fought and won Vietnam 2 and World War 3 all in the space of a couple hours. When in reality, yeah, he brought four or five different assault rifles with him, but the useless buffoon neglected to pack any ammo for any of his equipment, so when we rolled up on the cartel members, he spent the entire battle hiding under the back seat playing Lego Star Wars on my kid's Game Boy and stinking up my minivan with some weird-ass leather coat he had crammed under his fatigues. And while he was busy butt-fucking around with Obi-Wan and Chewbacca, me and the Indian tracker made short work of those cartel members and then drove over to the dildo factory and burned it to the ground. And if I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. I love the smell of a burning dildo factory in the morning. Rangers lead the way.